Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I've sat down and done my makeup with you and today is all about this look which is a 90s inspired fall everyday makeup. It is very much a me look. It's using some new products so if you guys want to see how I achieved it then just keep on watching. Okay, starting for base, this is actually newer to me, but everyone is raving about it on social media. It's the Hourglass Skin Tint. I have it in the shade 9. I have a little bit more of a tan on my body than my face, so it should be fine, but it is gorgeous. I didn't really expect anything spectacular just because I am a little bit more in favor of a skin tint. I love a skin tint, the rose ink one being my current favorite, so I just thought, yeah, it's a skin tint. I don't know what's in it, but it makes my skin look so plump and fresh and dewy, but hydrated, not too hydrated if you have oily skin. It's beautiful. And there's definitely a little bit more coverage than your average skin tint. Do you see how natural and just skin-like that is? I'm really into it and I feel like it takes a lot to impress me with the base product nowadays just because there's so many great ones out there. Also, I do love applying it with my fingers, but the Pearl Beauty Brush, which is about to sell out for another time, <laughs> there's limited stock available, so be quick if you wanna get this, is good with any kind of creams. Like you can literally use this with all base products. I actually use the same brush throughout the entire makeup process. I don't switch out my brush for each product. I feel like it just blends the products nicer. It looks more natural on the skin and because it's such a dense brush, the product just lays on the top. It doesn't really seep through. So you're able to use multiple products with it. For concealer, I'm gonna take the Dior Skin Correct in 2CR. I've had this one for ages. It's not the most brightening. That's only in the shade. It's not anything to do with the formula. So I'm gonna keep it on areas that I just want to correct any redness. And I'll put a little bit under my eyes, but I'm gonna take a different concealer to brighten it a little bit more. I'm gonna take my very handy dandy NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, which is quite bright for my skin tone. And I'm only keeping this in the inner corner of my eyes because less is more with concealer, especially around the eyes. And if you tend to struggle with creasing, just minimize the amount of concealer you use. Again, with this brush, just stippling it away. If you want a little bit more coverage, stipple the brush. If you want sheer coverage, you can slide it and, you know, use circular motions, or you can use your fingers. I actually love using that hourglass skin tint with my fingers as well, but with concealer, I like to stipple the product into my skin. I don't know if it's just me, but one of my biggest pet peeves with makeup is when people don't clean their lips after base products, because I find, like, it just, it just looks like there's so much base product, like foundation or concealer on your lips, and then especially if they don't clean it before applying lip liner and lipstick. It annoys me so much, I don't know why. It's just me, I have to clean my lips after applying my base because I feel like they go invisible. I was deciding between using a bronzer or more of a contour shade and because I really wanna keep this in the 90s realm, I feel like contour and that shade is just a little bit more on trend. So I'm gonna take the shade Real Depth from Pearl Beauty, which is literally the perfect contour shade because it is a brown but there's no orange in it and there's no gray in it it has like a slight rose undertone so it actually just gives the most beautiful contour without being too harsh and really blends out with any kind of blush you wear because of that rose in it so i'm just going to put this on the outer corners of my face everywhere you're going to contour so places you want to create a little bit more definition and structure again using that same brush. Honestly, this product is so underrated and everyone that buys it is obsessed with it and understands the hype. But look at how subtle a difference, but major effects, like nothing, structure, definition, without looking gray, ashy, and obviously you don't want orange if you're gonna contour, so there you go. I also put a little bit around my lips to create the illusion of a fuller lip. It just gives the perfect shadow. Okay, I'm gonna step away from base for a hot second and we're gonna move to our eyes. You guys know I'm not big when it comes to eyeshadow, but I have been really loving these solo shadows from Merit. I have the Vichetta and Mid-Century. I also had Studio, but I gave it to my aunt because it was more of like a cool tone mauve and she suits that a lot more than I do. So I'm gonna start off with Vachetta. Vachetta? I feel like there should be an N in there, like Vincetta, but it's not, it is Vachetta. 
I'm gonna take the bottom of this brush and swirl it around. And then I'm just gonna swipe it over my lids, keeping it mostly on the lash line right up into the crease and then buffing it right from inner corner to outer corner. This is just gonna give a really pretty wash of color, but it's easy, it's minimal, and there's not a lot of effort involved, which I love. See how all the tones are starting to come together? We're really working with those like soft browns, but not going into a warm orange undertone. That's kind of when like the 2000s hit. I feel like the 90s were a little bit more muted with the browns, like more of a true, just like, <laughs> I was gonna say dirt brown, but that's not the color. Like, just a true neutral brown. Okay, now with Vichetta, it's definitely a little deeper. I'm just gonna put a little bit at the outer corners, not with my hair, and buff it into my lash line. Don't wanna take it too high, and it's just gonna kinda create a fuller looking lash. Hourglass Unlocked is still a firm favorite. It is a tubing mascara, it's a silicone wand. All the things I love in a mascara and it doesn't transfer, which is the most important thing on me. I'm trying to get right at my root, wiggle, and then bring it upwards, and it's just never let me down. So this is my favorite for now, say the last three years. It's expensive, but for me, it is absolutely worth it. I did just try a couple new ones from some brands that I do like, but unfortunately, the transfer was inevitable. So back to my tried and trusted. Tried and true, tried and true. Interesting. That is two coats. Insane. For brows, I'm going to take the Kosas Brow Pop in taupe, I believe. Yeah. And I'm just going to keep this on the tail. I don't want to add anything crazy. Just a little bit more definition just because I feel like it's lacking at the tail area. Oh, got a little flyaway. I think that just brings the look a little bit more together. This is very much a me makeup. It's not revolutionary, but you know, when you come to this channel, it's just going to be different makeup products creating everyday makeup looks because that's what I wear on an everyday basis. This base is literally filter like. It is so good. I don't know what it does to my skin, but I really love it. I do need to add powder, so I need to go get my powder. One second. I'm going to take my Pearl Beauty Translucent Powder, which I just finished my other one, so you know I use this a lot. And I'm going to take a little, this is the Huda Beauty sponges, and I'm really pressing it in the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to go right, not right under my eye, but right in my T-zone. This is where I get the most oily. Like this little triangle right here is where it gets a little crazy for me. So I'm just going to press that in, but I'm not going right under my eyes because I don't feel like I need it. It's just this little triangle of oil. Tapping a lot of this off and then pressing it. And genuinely, it is insane what a little sponge and some good translucent powder can do for your skin. It makes you look flawless. Now, obviously I need a little bit of blush. So I was trying to figure out what kind of direction I wanted to go in. Do I want to play with pinks, a red, oranges? I'm thinking I'm going to go with Summer Spice, which is from our newest launch, the Four More Collection. And it's a really beautiful terracotta shade, which I think is perfect for this look. It's going to have a little bit of a red base, but it's so natural and just gives that perfect flush of color without being overwhelming. A little bit over my eyes, right up into my temples. I think that's perfect. It's like the perfect flush of color without screaming, I'm wearing blush, you know? So good with this look. I love that. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Nabla number two, nude two liner and quickly line my lips. The perfect neutral brown to like overline your lips with, but it doesn't like scream brown if you know what I mean. And then I felt like this was fitting. It is the Merit Lipstick in 1990, which is a really pretty, you guessed it, brown. Now I do love this lip, but I just feel like I need a touch of the Summer Spice just to ever so slightly warm it up. It's just a wee bit ashy on me. So I'm just gonna tap that just to warm it up and I feel like that makes the biggest difference. This is very much a me look. I feel like it's the perfect 90s inspired fall everyday makeup. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.